Go now! Go, 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 go! Faster, Nicholas! Faster! I'm coming! Later, yeah. <laughs> right here, here we are. Ladies. <laughs> <laughs> hmm? <laughs> Three minutes only, yeah. Please, come in. So, only three minutes. You will give me three minutes here, yes or not? Yes. 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 I want to inform you about the history of our area, history of the castle, and then we will be up to the tower of the castle, where is the cannon there, wonderful view, and you will give me another two minutes up there to show you all the area round of Parga. Yes? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I hope everybody understands my bad English. Beautiful. Sure? Beautiful. Okay then. I was madam, we will speak in the Greek language. You can speak whatever you like. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, until the 14th of century, Parga, it was part of the Byzantine Empire. You hear about this empire, <coughs> Byzantine? Yeah. Yes. No, you are from England, that's yeah, why. Obviously. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> Byzantine? Yes. Yeah, you hear it. It was the longest empire in the world, 1,100 years. It was Greek. After this, Parga occupied it by Venetians, Italians. Venice, it's a city today in Italy, but in this period it was empire. Where the Venetians, they stay here in Parga for 350 years. But Parga has the best period in the history with the Venetians for two reasons. The first reason, when the Venetians came here, they built a castle down in Parga. I don't know if you visit this castle, yeah. Yeah. the Venetian castle. That means Parga habitants, they feel safe with this castle. Because before the castle, in the Ionian Sea, this is the Ionian Sea, there was pirates, you understand pirates? Still like pi pirates, eh? Yes. And all the cities near to the coast, they have problems with the pirates, same Parga. So when the Venetians, they built this castle, uh, all the habitants, they don't need to move, they have the castle, and the most important is that they feel safe with this castle. A very important feeling in this period. This is one. And the second is this forest of olive trees around of Parga. I don't know if you see them along the way to the castle. But the majority of them, they are five and six hundred years old, these olive trees. So they produce much olive oil. And this olive oil, they commercialize the Parga habitants with the Venetians because they have very good connection. And the Venetians, they were shipping power. They have the possibility to transfer this olive oil almost in all the Mediterranean cities. That means in Parga it came a lot of money. That's why Parga it was in the high level with the Venetians for three centuries and a half. For this tourism, castle that they feel safe and olive oil. Yes? 
After the Venetian now, in the end of the 18th of century, Parga occupied by French Empire. Napoleon Bonaparte, you hear about him? Yes. He was a guy, that's what I'm doing. Not me. Napoleon Bonaparte, yes. Where French, they stay here in Parga for 15 years, one five. And if you remember, I show you the small castle in the yeah. small island, in yeah. par on top of the island. It was built from Napoleon Bonaparte, this castle, yeah? Mm -hmm. And after the French, we have the British are here in Parga. Don't worry, we have good connection. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> British, where already they have the Ionian Islands. You know Ionian Islands? Corfu, Paxos, Antipaxos, Lefkada, Zakynthos, Kefalonia, Ithaki. We call them Ionian Islands because this is the Ionian Sea, they are in the Ionian Sea, that's why we call them Ionian Island. And the base of British, it was Corfu Island. You know Corfu? In parallel now with the British and French, some other empire wants to occupy Parga. They were here in the mountains, I will show you later. And this it was the Ottoman Empire. Ottoman, Turkey Pulema. Yeah. Ottoman, you hear about it? Yeah. yeah, right. Well, the leader of them, the officer of them, it was Ali Pasa. Ali Pasa, it's a Muslim name. That's why we call this cast castle of Ali Pasa. He built this castle. Mm -hmm. He built it here because the border in this period, it was under the castle. And all the area under the castle, it was under the British, and this it was Mela, yeah? Ali Pasa, he wants to occupy Parga for one reason. He need exit to the Ionian Sea. He need the harbor of Parga. That's why he came here. And he started building this castle, Madame, on 1814. 1814. Remember it? We'll have a test later. <laughs> <laughs> Quick. One eight one. <laughs> yeah, we need calculator now. Yeah. <laughs> We're on holiday, yeah. <laughs> it takes eight years to finish this castle, plus eight years to finish this castle. That's mean 18. 22, yeah. Yes, 22, yes. Yes, ma'am. Give me a second. 18, 22. <laughs> but Ali Pasha, he tried many times to occupy Parga with his army, but it wasn't possible. British it was here. It was not so easy. So Ali Pasha, he used a diplomatic way. He was a very good diplomatic man. So he was in contact with a British officer in Corfu, Mr. Thomas Metland, and after long and hard discussion, Ali Pasha, he bought Parga from the British in Agora. Oh, oh. And he paid in this period 150,000 gold pounds. It was too much money for Parga. But Ali Pasha paid his money because he need exit to the Union Sea. He need the harbor of Parga. This happened, Madam, on 1819. And finished. We don't have any more tests. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Just remember it, yeah? So he started building this cast 1814. He finished it 1822, mm -hmm. but on 1819 he bought Parga, so when he finished this castle, he doesn't need it anymore. So this castle, they built it, they finished it, but never been used. Oh. This is a history, yeah. can, can happen, yeah. Anyway, I will not make you any more tired, only more two minutes about the castle, and then we'll go up there. The architect of this castle, he was Italian, Mr. Monteleone. He was very good architect the history informs us, and to this castle he makes something very clever. When they built the castle, the castle has a roof, sir. Not now. Our government promised us many years ago. They will do it. We still wait. <laughs> <laughs> and on the roof, he make a system of channelization, and he collect all the rainwater from the roof. And through the channel over there, underground there, it's a tank of the water. So they collect all the rain water from the roof and they send it and they save it underground here. So the car somehow has enough water because here it was difficult to carry water. It's a mountain. So it was very clever idea of this Italian architect. From another side of the castle is the kitchen of the castle. Oh, it's closed now. <laughs> and this is the tower of the castle. Well, on the tower is the cannon's wonderful view. And you promised me another two minutes up there. Yes or not? Yes. yes, of course. I want to show you all the area around of Parga. Now everybody will go up there. But in the corner here, we have some stairs. 
As, as I see, all of us, we are young, so no problem. We will manage. Okay. Yes, okay. Let's go. Yes. <laughs> Gentlemen here. Yes. Be careful, I don't understand why. Sir, I don't tell you be careful. I'm already. Madam, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Madam, give me your hand. Your husband trusts me, don't worry. Come on. You trust me, I don't know. Ali Pasha built this first in order to check the ladies, you see? <laughs> That's why. <right. laughs> oh, we'll go inside here, yeah? Hello, madam. Thank you. Madam, okay. Oh, thank you. <coughs> yeah. Thank you. Come, my dear. Madam, here we are. Thank you. Right. Slowly, slowly. Yes, right. Thank you. Another young man here. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Έλα κυρία μου, μη μου εδώ και με κάνει Όχι τη μάνα μου, μάνα μου προσέχε. Όχι, Έλα μα. Όχι, δεν παθαίνει αυτή από βουνό, τη βλέπω. Έλα, είναι από βουνό. Τη βλέπω. 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 Τη So, two minutes here and then you can make unlimited photos. Only two minutes. I will show you where we are. Come on. Hello, madam. Yeah, it's also a wonderful view, but today we are not so lucky. It's not so clean atmosphere, you see. It's humid of the wall. Yeah. We cannot see very far, but anyway, we will see something. Come on, madam. Hello. I have seen many times. <laughs> here <we are. laughs> right, cheers. So, here we are 383 meters high from the sea level. We came from Parga. Parga until here it's seven kilometers. I don't know straight now if you can recognize a mountain over there. You need good eyes, you know, we don't have so clean atmosphere. You know island Lefkada, Lefkas. Mm -hmm. Straight here, we can see only a little bit. It's 80 kilometers from Parga, and if you came by plane between Lefkada and Preveza, Preveza is over here, is the international airport. So you, you fly, up, I think, here in, in Active. And behind of me here, you can recognize, we can see it very well, these two islands. Mm -hmm. The big one is Paxos, Eramada. I have seen many times. <laughs> the big one is Paxos, 3,000 inhabitants. The small one is Antipaxos, no habitant. There is a daily trip from Parga to Paxos. They start five boat, 10 o'clock in the morning, and they return six o'clock in the afternoon, if somebody wants to visit this island. Somebody been there? No, Not yet. Anyway, it's a wonderful trip if somebody wants to visit this island. It's a daily trip. And behind of me here, straight to the mountain, sorry. I cannot help you. It's, uh, you know Corfu Island? Mm -hmm. In the end of the Corfu Island, it's uh, the south part, Levkimi Kavos, if you've been to Corfu, madam. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, it's only 30 miles from Parga, it's not so far. But sorry, we cannot see, it's just right here, near to the mountain, over here. <laughs> and behind of the tree here is the second village of Parga, we call it Ayag, we can see it from this side of the castle. And down here is the first village, we can see it from the castle. We pass it, call it Anthusa, and we will stop there for a few minutes when we return mm -hmm. to Parga, yeah. And straight now in the peninsula of Parga, in the big rock of Parga, is the Venetian castle. Did you visit this castle? Yeah. 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 Remember, madam, how many stairs? Uh, I didn't count, but you did a lot. You did count them. But a lot. 64. Is it? Ah. Yeah. 
Oh, bravo, man. Thank so, if you want to visit this castle, yeah, it's 10 or 15 minutes walking yeah, from the main right. harbor of Parga. Yeah. You have to get this traditional way, it's Parga mm. mm. yeah, yeah. Mm. Uh And with the small shops on yeah. Yeah, yeah. 64 stairs, and in the end of the stairs is the entrance of the castle. It's a beautiful castle. It's, it's a beautiful, visit, yeah, 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 right. Worth yeah, right. And uh, as I told you, this castle, it was built from the Venetians on the 14th of century. Yeah. And it was one of the two reasons that Parga has the best period in the history. Mm -hmm. I told you for the safety yeah. reason because there was yeah. pirates here. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm and uh, all the cities they have problems with them. Yeah. This is one. And the second that we can see also much better from here is this forest of olive trees down here. All this green down here. It started from this village. There is a village over there. All this green down here until in the back here. It's a forest of olive trees. Well, I told you the majority they are five and six hundred years old. So they produce much olive oil and this olive oil makes Parga to be in the high level. Until, you remember, until when, madam? 1819. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you follow me, you see? Thank you. 1819. Why? Because on 1819, the Ottomans, the Muslims, he came the here. Town oh, exactly. And Parga, it followed immediately down. Mm -hmm. Our Muslims, they stay here in Parga for 95 years mm -hmm. until 1913 14, where it was the beginning of the first global war. You know it, yeah? The first global war. Where the Greek army it was released this area here. So Parga from 1913 until today, it's a Greek land, except three years during the Second War, 1941, 1944, where here we have the Germans. Mm -hmm. Generally, this is the history of Parga, uh, of this very small place here, has very interesting history, uh, because here we have many different empires, many different nations. And you know, madam, why we have all these nations here in Parga? You know why? No. Because Parga is beautiful. <laughs> that's, that's for sure. That's for sure. <laughs> but he is laughing. The gentleman here is laughing. Not mother. He is right. It's the strategical position. That has strategy. And you know why? Because this sea between Paxos and Parga, this channel here, mm -hmm. let me say channel, it was always international shipping line where the ships, they started from the harbors of Adriatic Sea. You know Adriatic Sea? Yeah. They came through here. West Greece, South Greece, and they end Middle East and Egypt. That's why all these empires, they want to have Parga in them plans of the strategical position, not because Parga is beautiful. Or oh, the right answer and, and is as both. Well, as it's well, both, yeah, too. exactly. That's this right. is the right answer, yeah. yes. <laughs> anyway, Parga has a book of history, but we cannot enter to more details because we will stay here all the day, madam. And you don't want to, you want to go to the beach, yeah? I understand it. <laughs> but next year that we'll come back again here in Parga, I guess. Yeah. We'll do chapter two. Madam, yes, yeah, next sure, year. Yes. <laughs> she said all the ladies, they want to come back. <laughs> so I promise to the ladies next year here, we will continue the details. <laughs> <of> the <laughs> next year, yeah. Few more seconds and finish. I will not speak anymore because my driver says, if I open my mouth, I don't close it. <laughs> This, here we had four cannons in the tower. These two cannons, Ali Pasha, he bought it in this period from the supermarket, madam. Uh, yeah, if you want to buy something, go to the supermarket. It's a Russian production, and we have another two here. It was British production, but they moved to the other castle. So if you visit the other castle, you will see the 200 years old British cannon down there. Thank you for your attention. Thank you. If you have any question, I'm here. Uh, now you can make a photo and slowly, slowly, with it then, I will show you the kitchen, we'll go to the train, and our next stop will be the village. Yes? Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. But sir, I will help only the ladies in the stair. You can go inside. Okay. We're going to go. Ali Pasa, it's inside. Jesus. <laughs> he, he accepts only ladies. Well, he's gone. Come here. Get out. Oh, I hear the lady, yeah. I am. <laughs> it's okay. Just a touch. Jesus. Stand there, turn around. You see me? Where's the flash? Where's the flash? Oh, sorry. Madam.
Oh, no, um, go to the flush right. On the top. Oh, on the top. Wait, I'm on the right. That table will be on the right, yeah? It doesn't matter. Let's see. You can't see. I don't want the glasses on, that's why. Right. <laughs> 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 Let's see. 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 Let's Nick, take your sunglasses off. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. <laughs> For light, I suppose, wasn't it? No, I'm not going up there either. Madam, can I help you? Oh, oh we've left her. Nicholas, help your wife. Yeah. It's the last test. The last one. Yeah, okay. Okay. Thank you. The last test. We have to walk off on the front here. Last point of no return, baby, on the summer night. Shine of love and the spark of love to be Start the light and the month I'm not burned like the ground I leave I will leave it on the next string, baby I do believe 